Hello everyone, my name is Iker Agostinho, I'm a PhD student from Federal University of Santa Catarina in Brazil, and today I will present, I will present the research online scattering approach for distributed active manufacturing systems. And this research is part of the FASTEN project, Flexible and Autonomous Manufacturing Systems for Custom Designing Products, uh, that project received funds for European Commission Horizon 2020. So, just to have a brief introduction, distributed manufacturing systems represents a new paradigm in the industrial context. So, in the past and nowadays, we have globalized mass production, and we move the production to local countries and do the production on a higher scale. And this, in this case, we have long delivery times along the global supply chains, this increases the logistics and the CO2 emissions. So, now the idea is to have distributed production in small production centers close to the final client, and we can do that to use additive manufacturing manufacturing uh, on a on demand small scale close to the final client and this kind of system is very complex to control so the idea of this research is proposed and implemented in R, of course a new conceptual model for dynamic allocation of production orders in these dm systems considering data provided by internet of thing technologies and the proposed approach will be tested in a user case using real data and the idea is to support a forthcoming pilot application so that's the proposed model. The idea is to decide uh, where each production order will be executed. And then for that, you consider four main variables, setup times, queue times, production times, and transportation times. And you need to, for each PO, minimize this objective function uh, that is the sum of these variables. So uh, for each PO request, we use an external application called OpenStreetMaps. It's open source API. We can use this API to have a real-time transportation time between multiple plays. And then for queue time, production times, and setup times, we get this information for, uh, from IoT platform. For production times, we consult the historical uh, time series of prediction, and we estimate a set of forecast models, then do the forecast and select the best one. And with all this information together, we can apply a search algorithm to find the best option com combining these data, and then minimize the objective function and do the better allocation. So about the model implementation, this is the basic texture. Uh, we use some um, our libraries as the ply, just online, HHR for a cast and plumber. And then we build a REST API using HTTP protocol and the Swagger framework. Um, and about the implementation and integration, uh, this model has a graphical interface and a web graphical interface, so the user can put a PO into the optimization tool, and then uh, use the information of this PO, we can consult this external application, and then calculate the transportation time between the, del the final delivery place and all the production centers, get the, the historical data and real-time data for the IoT platform, and then run our, our, uh, our model, uh, that is a, a Swagger API, and then give back the information to the system, notify the users, and control uh, the production order location. So we did a simulation-based experiment to evaluate our model, and then we simulated two scenarios, each one with nine simulation runs, and for each scenario, you consider 1,000 of POs. So we have efficient gains of, yeah, with the reduction of 77% of the average waiting time of the system. So as you can see in the graphs in the left, we have the allocation by distance, which means we always allocate uh, the production the closest place. And then the allocation uh, of our model that considers real-time data and the estimated uh, production time using forecast models. So you have a big difference between these two approaches. So, as conclusion, the model was able to deal uh, with stochastic characteristics in a dynamic environment, considering internal and external information. Uh, the model was implemented in R, that is an open source language, and can be easily applied in distributed manufacturing context, uh, considering real-time data provided by IoT technology. Uh, in, in the future, the idea is to have reactive scheduling and adaptive capabilities into the model, and incorporate these capabilities and evaluate this model in a more complex distributed network and then support a Fortran pilot application. So thanks, uh, that's my mail. You can send me a message if you have any doubts or suggestions.